Now how to get your stones all the same height. This is guided by three different things again. Number one, you need to drill your holes to the same depth. Number two, if you've been listening to any of my other stuff, I hope you know this one by now as well, is you need properly calibrated stones. If you have stones that are bigger or smaller and they're all going in holes drilled to the same size and the same depth, the bigger ones aren't gonna go low and the smaller ones are gonna sink right to the bottom of the hole. Number three, probably the most overlooked is in how you prep the hole after you've drilled it. When you're cutting in between your grains, you're leaving yourself a seat for the stone. And if you cut too much off of one side or too much off of the other side, then what you're doing is you're making those seats smaller, which means less resistance when you go to press fit your stones. In a lot of my videos, you'll see that my stones are actually press fit into place. A really nice thing to do. But if there's uneven resistance, in how big the seats are when you're cutting those holes, then your stones are gonna sink out of sight in some holes and obviously stay higher in another. And that's where the problem is. So as you're removing the metal in between the bridges and in between the grains, the beads, make sure that you're looking at them hole to hole to hole and try to get those little bits of metal that the stone is actually going to sit on, even on each hole so that there's equal resistance. And then you should be good to go.